Hello YouTube, Statue Hunter 75 here with a big mail call. Big, big CGC mail call came in today. Pretty excited. Some of the stuff I know and some of the stuff I don't think I know yet. So I might be just as surprised as you are seeing it for the first time. Um, first off, something I bought from eBay. I uh, love it. They shipped it in a Gemini. You know, I told them, please, my, my mailman, my mailman, <laughs> my mailman loves to jam shit in the mailbox. He just loves stuffing envelopes in the mailbox. So please ship it in a box. So he obliged and shipped in a Gemini mailer, which is great. Uh, I'm just going to open this off camera and make sure there's no additional stuff with my address on it. And it is not. It's a Gemini 2 mailer. Let's peel some tape here. And let's give that a little snip. See what we have in here so if you don't know this is a variant cover by artist peach momoko and it appears to be a nice shape uh corners are a little no they're fine Looks pretty good. It's uh, Spider-Man Venom Double Trouble. I have pretty much all of her art, her cover art uh, that she's done so far, her variants. Um, and I love Venom and Spider-Man. So I love how her stuff looks like she did it with like watercolors or like colored pencils. All of her stuff looks like that. So I saw this and I just wanted it so bad. Um, so actually, let me let me leave that in camera for a second. I'm going to grab a, what you call it, a better thing. This thing barely fits it that it's in. Oh, you know what? I'll wait till after. I'll take care of that later because I thought I had them right here, but I guess I do not. So I don't want you to wait for me to find a better bag and board. So let me just take this off camera. So that was nice. It came in good shape. It looks great. Very happy with that. I'll give him positive feedback take my gemini shipper for future sales of comic books these things are great for shipping books safely wonderful and we'll move on to the first cgc box here so this is one of the smaller ones I'm just going to take this off camera for a second to get the paperwork as always CGC packages the stuff nicely hopefully nothing broke so far, so good it looks like, but I won't know until I get this out. Do not encapsulate. Please keep with invoice. Okay. So CGC mailed me back the, uh, the stuff. Because I had a signature series with Clayton Crane. Got a 982. I'm pretty psyched. It was a red, white, and blue signature. So very stoked about this. So I have my paperwork off to the side. Let's move the box out of the way for now up there. And we'll show you what we're looking at. Let me uh actually let me let me get this out of the bag. It's a little cold. It was outside so a uh, slight little blemish on the uh the encapsulation the case but got a beautiful nine eight white pages signature series we see here signed by clayton crane on november 2nd this year 2019 and this is the scorpion comics edition spider-man annual number one Carnage USA number one cover homage. 
So I had him sign it with the red, white, and blue signature. The signature kind of got smudged. I'm a little pissed about that, but hey, the book got a 9.8, so it's a great cover. That's odd. So Spider-Man Annual Number One. This says Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider Ham. Hmm. Spider-Man Annual Number One. Oh, okay. Variant Edition. Okay. So yeah. Nice to have Clayton Crane's autograph. That's more for my PC than value. Um, I love the American flag signature too, and I'm a huge fan of Clayton Crane's art. Um, I had him sign a few other things that he took part in. He did more of the interiors on this book, but he was still a part of it. So I had him sign it. A um, couple of first appearances here. One go to nine full white pages. And that was the first appearance of the new Spider-Man Miles Morales. Poly bag removed. Ultimate Fallout 4. Clayton Crane signature there. And then this one got a much better grade. I'll take it out for you to see. Got a 9.6. Too bad it still didn't get a 9.8. Same thing. Had Clayton Crane sign it. I like how he signed it in gold on that one. That looks really cool. And it got a 9.6. Unfortunately. Now I had the poly bags removed so Clayton Crane could sign them. I don't know if CGC doesn't remove them when they encapsulate it. I'm pretty sure they do too, but they made a point to say poly bag removed. It's still um, signature series. It didn't get a green or anything like that. There was no tampering, but it just says poly bag removed. Anyway, that's fine. So, 9-6, Clayton Crane signature on the first Miles Morales is pretty good. Nothing to shake a stick at. Moving on to the next, the next box. And then we'll get to the big one. Uh, this one's a little bit, uh, it might be the same amount of books, we'll see. Let me get the razor here. This one, let's get the paperwork out of your way. And then we'll look at the books inside. All right, let's get this stuff out of the way. All right, here's what we got. I'm gonna have to check my CGC grading because I could swear it got a nine six, but I could be wrong. Just 
some reason it says a different grid, but we'll get into that in just a bit. Huh. Alright, so the first one was a little upsetting, but it was to be expected. Now, maybe you guys can tell me what this means, but it got a green. It's the first appearance of Hobgoblin. It has the tattoos in it. Had this chunk taken out of it, so I got this for really cheap. Um, but it was a qualified grade, 4.5 white pages. And it says, Tattoos Insert Married. I don't know if that means they're like, they got stuck together or something, I'm assuming. First appearance of, manu of the Hobgoblin manufactured with tattoos, insert, and sample. So it has the tattoos in it, but I guess they're stuck together. Tattoos inside. That's a big thing about this book is if it has the tattoos. So I made sure to buy it with the tattoos. I didn't know that they were stuck together or married. I mean, it's encapsulated, so I'm not going to break it apart. It's still got a good mid-grade for m missing a chunk of the cover. Um on the spine there right there that big chunk of the cover being missing i think that's a big part of why it got a 4.5 obviously the reason it's qualified in green is because of the tattoos uh so could have been better probably trade this off for something or something we'll see what happens when he hits big on a movie um this next one i'm loving these custom covers um, that's another thing I paid for the Spider-Man cover and because it got a green, it doesn't have the Spider-Man cover. So I'm wondering if they refunded me, they better have, I'm going to have to call them to find out about that. Cause it's like an extra five bucks for the cover. Now this one, first appearance of Bloodshot and it got a 9.4 matte version, Ryan number zero. And I got the uh, Valiant cover with all the characters there on the cover, which looks really cool. Got a 9.4, little upset with the grade. I wish it got a better grade, like a 9.6 or a 9.8. But I guess you can't win them all. Ooh, I didn't even notice that. It's probably because of that on the back there. Hmm. Well, there you have it. And that too. Or is that part of the artwork? Actually, that looks like it might be part of the artwork. Huh. Anyways. So, 9-4. Not, not the end of the world. Uh, still qualified grade. And it's still high grade. If the Bloodshot movie does amazing, that'll be worth some good money. Especially with the cool label on there. So, that was good. Um, I bought this book for $2.00. So I'm not shaving a stick at this grade. <laughs> we have here the first appearance of Electra. Um, not sure why in the hell CGC put a Thor label on it when I selected the Daredevil label. Ugh, they suck. CGC is terrible. This actually happened to my friend Mike too, I think. I'm going to have to contact them, and god damn it. I might just take this to the next show that they're at and have them make it right. Why in the hell would you put Thor? Nice move, CGC. Really keeping up that quality service that you're known for. Origin and first appearance of Elektra. Frank Miller story. Frank Miller and Klaus Jensen are covering that. Oh, that's really upsetting. <laughs> and my grades are... I don't know why I thought it got higher. I could be wrong. You know what? I'm going to go on to the CGC website real quick right now. Because I just want to see this next book that I'm about to show you. I totally thought that it got a better grade. Uh, this is quite... Aggravating. 
CGC grading, CGC comics, sign in. Let's get signed in. Um, my CGC, my submissions, view status. Quite aggravating. All right, so to get a nine point, okay, so that, um, and the greater notes on that uh, that other one with the chunk on the spine, light bends to cover, light spine stress lines to cover, moderate tears to cover. So that's what caused the four point five. So the daredevil and the rye were nine point four. Okay, so those grades were right. And this next grade, which still isn't that bad, but let me take it out of the bag. It looks really cool with this special label, the Spider-Man label as well. I love this book, love this character, love the cover. Glad to have a 9.2 in blue. Wish it was higher than 9.2, but 9.6 or 9.8 would have been amazing. Because this is a really sharp, sharp book. The only thing I could think of that hurt it was this which I was well aware of it, was this little scratch right here to the cover. Actually, let's see what they wrote on the greater notes. On the greater notes, they wrote... Light bends to cover. Yeah, so that <laughs> that's more than a light bend. It's, it's an actual scratch. It's like someone took a freaking thumbtack to it. I pressed it as best I could. It doesn't quite totally break color, but it does break a little color. So, hence the 9.2 uh, instead of the 9.6 or 9.8. Really cool with the Spider-Man cover, but I love it. With New York in the background, white pages, and you see Spidey in the 9.2. These covers are really, these uh, extra inserts are really nice. Roger Stern, sorry, John Romita, John, John Romita Sr. and Jr. cover and art. And the first appearance of the Hobgoblin manufactured with tattoos, insert, and sample. And it's blue, New York City. So there was nothing missing from this one. This one got a perfect universal grade in the blue. So that other one should have had that Spider-Man st sticker too. So two things I got to check with CGC and possibly complain about is, of course, the qualified not getting the Spider-Man sticker. Hopefully they didn't charge me for it, which they probably did. And then that stupid... Thor sticker when it should clearly be a daredevil insert. So I'll have to have words with CGC about that down the road. Moving on, I'll take a quick sip of water for you. So I'm not all parched. That was no damage to any box, so that's fine. Moving on to the next delivery here, we have. box out of the way and let's get this heavier box cut open and I'll just remove everything off camera so it's ready for you to see because this is a bulky heavy box with more books in it so let's get the books ready off to the side Yeah, I'm just going to take the books out now. I could remove them and show you as I take them out, but I think I'm just going to take them out now. do a few at a time so I love how CGC's are stackable all right so first one is gonna be worth a fortune great trade bait or selling material I have the statue of this as well 
J. Scott Campbell, 9.8, white pages, really cool cover. Um, Amazing Spider-Man presents Black Cat number one. Spider-Man appearance, but mainly more the variant J. Scott Campbell cover right there. So 9.8 white pages, that is huge. That's probably like a thousand dollar book maybe, I think. Maybe more, maybe a little less, we'll see. I haven't looked it up lately, but. The next book I got for a great price. Um, was hoping I got a slightly better score, but I will still take it. Deadpool number, it's New Mutants 98, the first appearance of Mr. Wade Wilson Deadpool. Uh, Gideon and copy of Cat, Venice Kalal as Domino, first appearance of them as well, and Richter leaves the New Mutants. So that's from February 1991, Rob Liefeld cover, and the art, it's 9.4 9 white pages. So I do have a 9.6, I don't have the 9.8 in that, it keeps eluding me. Um, this next book was kind of a disappointment that it did not get a 9.8. Um, kind of aggravated because it was in perfect condition, I thought. You can always read the greater notes, but... Got a 9.4. This is one of the Venom variants. It's Greg Horn art. It's Uncanny X-Men number 5 from Marvel Comics, March of 2012, Venom variant cover. Great Horn cover at. So, I thought it was in really nice shape. I thought it would have got maybe a 9.8, but I guess not. The grader at CGC must have had a bad day that day. So, 9.4 for me. Yay. Next book, um, next few books actually. Um, I submitted both of these and I thought, yeah, I guess I'm getting about what I think I was gonna get because it did have some issues. I just love the cover, I love McFarlane art. I have the statue of this and everything. Uh, this is when I was really getting into Spider-Man when I was younger. Uh, 9.2 Off-White to White Pages, Amazing Spider-Man 316, Venom and Black Cat Appearance, so. 9.2. It's just an iconic cover. Love that cover right there. That's just picture perfect. Nice art. I think McFarlane was the best to draw Spider-Man. I loved how he drew Spider-Man. I loved how he drew Mary Jane. I loved how he drew Venom. I love the big eyes on Spider-Man. I was always a fan of that. And I think a lot of other people are as well. Here's another one. This one got slightly better score, 9.4 white pages. Couldn't hammer down the 9.8, which is kind of frustrating, but oh well. All right, let's get on the stack of books. Moving on to the next stack. Actually, I'll just grab the rest of them all so we don't keep breaking. Ugh, that was a tough grade. God damn it, I didn't know it did that bad. It is an upgrade. So, New Mutants 87 coming your way. Uh, first appearance of Cable, more live field art. Just looking over the, the plastic. And as you see, it got a white page is 9.6. So my highest grade on this book was a 9.0 to date. So this got a 9.6. I was pretty sure it was going to get a 9.8. But, uh, 
I should check the grader notes on this, like why they get an I-6. Very curious, CGC. Come on. Let's see. All right. Are they gonna give grader notes on this? No, they didn't give grader notes. That's awesome. Oh well, no greater notes for me to even understand why I didn't get a perfect 9-8, but that's fine. This next book, hmm, I thought this guy I was going to get a higher grade too. I pressed this and everything. Kind of frustrating. So this is, still for an older book, I mean it is kind of ticked up on the spine. For an older book, the first appearance of Legion of Monsters, White Pages, 9.0, not too shabby. Legion of Monsters, Morbius Goes Right a Wolf by Night and Man Thing Appearance. So, I don't know why it doesn't say the first appearance of Legion of Monsters. That's what I was led to believe this was. But this just says appearance. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is the first appearance of Legion of Monsters. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now this next book, um, I'm pretty pretty happy with this grade because currently my highest grade for this book is a 7.5 so this is a much better improvement first appearance of that guy rocket raccoon it's 9.4 white pages incredible help 271 from 5 of 82 first comic book appearance of rocket raccoon so there you have it not a bad score at a 9.4 Right, this next one I thought would have got a high grade, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, I guess it is a little color break ticked up on the spine. It's a new stand edition too. Um, Marvel Premier number 47 from 1979, April of 79. Scott Lang becomes the new Ant-Man. So, I love that cover. Just a really cool book to have in your collection. So it's 7.5 white pages. Not the worst grade, not the best. Nice mid grade, I guess. I'll take it. Got the book for a good price, too. And this next one. Take out the paperwork. I love this show and got a pretty good grade thought it was probably gonna get worse um, so I got this on eBay copy of the boys number one white pages 9.6 from October 2006 first appearance of butcher Terra huge Huey and a train so Billy butcher love this show can't wait for uh, for part two, or, or season two. Next book, um, I was pleasantly surprised with the score that it got, or the grade that it got, um, when this movie, this movie has Leonardo DiCaprio attached to it, and hopefully they do make it, and if they do, I'm gonna be stoked to have this, because this is the, uh, the first, uh, it's Akira, number one, Got this from uh, my buddy Anthony over at uh, Paper Asylum. Got 9.6 white pages. Kira number one. First American appearance of Kaneda and Tutso. Tutso. First full color printing. So. Kachuhoro Otomo. Kira number one. So hopefully. That movie comes out and is a big, big hit. And then this book will be worth a fortune for me to give to my kids. <clears throat> All right. Next book got a 9.8. Pretty surprised. Pretty uh, 
happy with that. Not surprised at all. It's a brand new book. I picked the best looking one. I have a bunch of these. I still got to get the rest of them graded. Um, 9.8 white pages. Donny Cates story. Got shot cover or not. It is Thanos, Thanos 13. It's the first appearance of Cosmic Ghost Rider. Marvel value stamp number 36, Storm. So, psyched to have that in the 9.8. Should have Donny Cates sign one of these. Right. Next book got another nice score. Got a perfect nine and eight. Well, not perfect, but yeah, in comic book grading, that's pretty pretty perfect. So nine point eight white pages. First appearance of the real Domino, Nina Thurman, Deadpool appearance. I almost Almost bought this on the eBay too. Thank God I didn't because all the time all along I had one that was a 9 8. I still have some other big books with CGC that I'm waiting on, like the first appearance of Doctor Strange and a few others. And now these books, these books I was pleasantly surprised with the score that one of them got. Just goes to show that a spine roll doesn't really kill you. Because I thought the spine roll was going to be the demise. Now one of them got a really bad grade. I guess it's all the ticking up and down the spine, I guess. I mean, the book's in pretty nice shape. Oh, okay. Yeah, this... Okay. So this bastard at a card show rooked me because he charged me a pretty good price for this. And it only got a 5.5. Here I am looking at it. Yeah, that cone is pretty messed up. There's a lot of ticking up and down the spine and the big thing is which I never noticed this when I was buying it and I see it now player's day the uh, the missing back cover with the, the chafing there on the cover so yeah that's uh, pretty brutal <laughs> so but to make up for this because this is uh, one of my favorite DC characters the first appearance of Power Girl Kara Zor-El which is Superman's cousin, and it's the first issue of the title since February 3rd or February, March, 1951. Jerry Conway story, Rick Estrada and Wally Wood art, Mike Grell cover. It's from January, February, 1976, a year after I was born. All-Star Comics number 58. So, pleasantly surprised with the next one because... I thought the next one was going to get just as bad a grade, if not, you know, or because I thought it was even going to get worse because I didn't realize that one had the cover ripped off, but, or the, the back cover, or whatever you want to call it. But this one got a great score for the first appearance of Power Girl, and uh, very happy with this to have the first appearance of Power Girl. I thought that spine roll was going to kill me with the stable and the rolling of the spine. But no, go figure, it got a 9.6, white pages. That's huge for the first appearance of Power Girl. If she's ever in a movie of her own or anything like that, I love her. So really cool to have a 9.6, very nicely presenting. Except for that spine roll. And I even was thinking of pressing it out and fixing it. Probably would have gotten a 9.8. But I didn't want to take the chance with this book. If it was a cheaper book or a more modern book, I might have. Not that this book is super expensive, but I just didn't want to make it worse off. So I guess it was okay with a 9.6. Hey, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the comic book review. You know, it's, I love getting graded comics. I love having them encapsulated so that when I pass on and leave these to my children, they won't have to deal with any questions. You know what they're worth. You know what they're graded. No questions asked. So that's why I do it have them ready for my kids so thumbs up guys if you like the video thanks for watching i hope you made it all the way to the end it is a pretty long video but i do appreciate you coming along for the ride subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and have a great evening guys thanks bye